welcome to the gavel. I'm Linda Akibe. A federal lawmaker, Senator Shehu Sani, made some interesting disclosures during an interview recently with a media organization. In that interview, Senator Shehu Sani spoke about the salaries and allowances of senators, disclosing that senators receive 13.5 million naira monthly as running costs. There's been outrage from various Nigerians about this amount, with some people describing this allowance as extremely frivolous and wasteful. Now, the Senate, on its part, maintains that Senator Shehu Sani did not disclose anything new, as the figure he gave out were contained in the various line items and expenditure heads of the National Assembly budget, which has been made public. Well, as the debate rages, we had a conversation with the chairman, Partners for Electoral Reform, and convener, Say No Campaign Nigeria, Mr. Ezenwan Wangu, to examine this issue. There are two <laughs> levels of uh, looking at the confirmation, because it's a confirmation of what we already know, uh, that we've already articulated, and for which we have been asking the National Assembly for open disclosure. So it's, it's important to under, underscore that point. The first thing is that 13.5 million naira for a serious lawmaker mm -hmm. is, not, is, not, is not out of the roof. Okay. If they were supposed, if they're doing the work of lawmaking the way we know it that is done. Now, what do I mean by that? You, if you were to hire, if you were to hire professionals, consultants on the thematic area of your interests, and pay them well, you will then find out that that money is really pales into ins insignificance. But what has happened is that you have a national assembly that is peopled by nepotic relationships. What do I mean? They, you see somebody who says he's, he's, um, he says, what do they call their, their staff? Their aides. Their yeah. aides, in most cases, are relations of either himself or his wife and all of that. And what the guy does for him is simply carry his bags, follow him for meetings, stand outside, and all of that. But that's not what it is in other climes. They travel and they see the quality of engagement that lawmakers have with issues. You have a committee of 50, just about three people may be working. You, you work in that environment, so you can relate with what I'm talking So the hue and cry is about when Nigerians hear figures, you know, it's, it's oh, 13.5. But if, it is, if they were doing the work as legislators, I can tell you, at the risk of being immodest, that it, that money may not even be enough. Last year, there was this. Um, there's been this advocacy for open NAS, and the National Assembly did did you know open up its budget for public scrutiny, where it you know listed some some line items and and all. Were you uh, are you were you comfortable or satisfied rather with that level of disclosure by the National Assembly? Do you think it did enough, or you, did you want to see? Did you want to see more in terms of opening up the, and the the, the 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 financial you know the books of the National Assembly? No, but if openness is simple, it is about if you take the budget of the Ministry of Health, you are going to see line by line subheads. The National Assembly does not give you a breakdown a complete breakdown, we will have been able to situate 13.5 million, we will be able to situate the several other allowances that, you know, that are the monuments that people are entitled to. But the, the openness is still uh, one in which we need to continue to push. But happily enough, the opportunity we have is that there are people within parliament itself who understand the need for this openness, not just because it's, 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 it's fashionable to do so, but because even their own survivor politically would depend on that openness. If you, if you always said you stood for integrity, you stood for honesty, Nigerians are calling out all of those kind of people. 
And so whether anybody likes it or not, we are going to have more and more disclosures. But the bigger issues and bigger challenges will be what we do with collusion with MDAs. And the underhand engagements that flow in all of that, that will never be computable. We will not ever, ever be able to compute what all that is. But like I said, if you break down what is on the table, when we ask the, 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 the earnings of lawmakers, what they fly their pay slip. And you know that pay slip is very miserable. So they're always quick to say, look, this is what I'm paid. I'm paid beyond one million naira, blah, blah, blah. But these other appurtenances are really the issues. We can begin to engage in terms of, uh, uh, what do they call it, value for money. If we are paying you 13.5 million, we should be able to have a system that helps us to know how many times you sit, both in committees and plenary. I mean, how do you say it now? The, um, the, Trace, uh, traceable way, traceable mm -hmm. platforms. Why don't we have a system in which we can find how many times you sit in a year? I think you can't find them many times in lawmakers sit in a year. If you go into their votes and proceedings, there's, there's, so we can. can that's what I'm saying. We can begin to track mm -hmm. value for money. Mm -hmm. You don't tell us that the reason why you are not in plenary is because you went for oversight. oversight. We want to know those oversight. How many oversights did you go? So 13.5 will begin to make meaning for majority of Nigerians, when they can place a hand on what and what you do. We watch on television, channel shows us your plenary all the time, virtually empty. You only come together perhaps when there is a visitor or, or something or there is a special event. That is not value for money for Nigerians. So what I'm saying is that we can, if, if the, the openness, the, the call for openness,